Brazos Bend State Park is a great place to see the stars, and you can even travel to the moon. The Houston Museum of Natural Science has the George Observatory and the Challenger Learning Center. It's a very unique relationship with the state of Texas where we've been able to put our facility here on state property and so that visitors can enjoy both institutions. They've got the Museum of Natural Science and the Brazos Bend State Park. The observatory is an amazing place. Um, we have the largest telescope in the United States. It's open to the public on a regular basis. Um, we're open every Saturday. So we think that it's really incredible that you and I can come and look through a huge uh, professional instrument and your eyeball gets to see incredible things that you normally wouldn't see. The Challenger Learning Center is here. We do school field trips. We have, uh, on the weekends, we have birthday parties. We do missions for any family group. Um, you know, any group of people that want to come and experience what it's like to be an astronaut. The very first Challenger Center opened in 1988 after the Challenger disaster. And the husbands and wives wanted a living teaching memorial for their, uh, so that everyone could remember what their family members loved. They didn't want them to be remembered for how they died. Krista McAuliffe was on board. It was supposed to be a teaching mission, so every mission after that we're teaching for Krista. We have some incredibly dedicated volunteers that really work at NASA. They volunteered to come and run these family space days for me. They tend to make it a little bit uh, more realistic than I do sometimes because I'm a teacher, I'm an educator, and I, I do it one way and, and they're the real thing. I work as a computer software engineer working on the International Space Station software and I also help with family space days where we come out for the public and do many missions to the moon. I think it's fun getting to see the kids experience something that I love, which is space, but it is also really cool just to see them thinking and learning on their feet. And then it's really fun just to throw different scenarios and see how people respond to them. When you're working at NASA, you, you only talk to the adults, but getting the kids out here, seeing their excitement, what, what excites them, and learning about what, what it takes to really work with the space program is really I like. We had to do a little experience with chemicals and it didn't turn out so good because I was knocking everything over. I didn't know how to work the robot, but it was really fun. I got to receive messages from Houston and tell the, a, the certain team to listen. There's always something going on. You won't be bored at any moment. Whether if you're an adult or a child, when you walk in that door, you're going to the moon and you're having a good time. There are several upcoming events that will make a trip to the park extra special. We have uh, family space days scheduled regularly. We've got you know, our normal programming where you, know, you can sign up, come do missions. We'll have some rocket days come up. Uh, Boeing is going to come and sponsor a big day in the summer where they're going, going to have a lot of volunteers that come and, and put on all kinds of activities with rocket launches and different kids activities. So we've got several large activities that are really fun for everybody. Come out, enjoy the park, bring a picnic, um, plan on the whole experience. You know, maybe come to a mission in the afternoon, go have a picnic, and then come back when it gets dark and look at the skies. For more information, check out these sites. For Great American Pastimes, I'm Chris Parks.